Hello, Can Cream here, CC for short, and today I would like to talk to you about festivals. Or, to be exact, why Equestria has so many. If you watch any number of analysts, then Equestria's sheer number of festivals, holidays, and social events has likely been brought to your attention every time a new one crops up. And it's not hard to see their point. Equestria does have a lot of them. But the question I mean to answer for you today is exactly why this is, and why, in universe, it might not be as strange as some may make it seem. Before we actually get to answering this question, we need to first look at the various holidays and gatherings that we've seen. In the show alone, there's been a total of 14 different events, 15 if you want to count Running of the Leaves and AJ and Rainbow's Iron Pony competition as two separate things. That's enough to fill every episode of Season 3 and still have some left over. This may seem like a lot, and, well, yeah, it is. But it's when we really look into what these events are that their numbers begin to make a little more sense. Essentially, they can be broken down and placed into one of two categories, either local events or national holidays. Local events like Winter Wrap-Up, the Full and Philly Fair, and the Crystal Fair, to name a few, are only celebrated within a single community. If you were to leave the city limits of Ponyville, the idea of changing winter to spring without the use of magic would likely greet you with some odd stares. As these events show, it is likely that every city and settlement in Equestria has their own private celebrations, meaning that the total number of festivals in MLP is even higher than you probably imagined. In contrast, we then have national holidays, events that are observed across the entire population, Hearts and Hooves Day, Her Swarming Eve, the Equestria Games, etc, etc. And, as you can likely guess, most of their holidays and major events are mirrors of our own. Valentine's Day, Christmas, the Olympics. But so far, we've only touched upon what these holidays are, and not necessarily their reason for being. This, I feel, can be explained with two key reasons. The first is the difference in pony psychology to ours, and the second is the difference in pony technology. Now, human beings are a very social creature, this I will grant you. The effects of extended periods without personal interaction have been well observed and are not often pleasant. And this is the reason why prisons have solitary confinement, after all. But as much as we are a people who need people, a pony's need surpasses even ours, as they almost literally need each other to survive. Whereas a human being can go off somewhere isolated and survive well away from humanity, ponies are not so free. They need to till the land to create food. They need to move the clouds to create rain. They need to change the weather. They need to change the days. Without each pony race doing their job, their piece of the world begins to fall apart. I believe that pony culture can be seen best mirrored in the quarians of Mass Effect. Also, yes, I'm referencing Mass Effect again. I like Mass Effect. Like ponies, quarians live in an environment where every person needs to contribute something, and it is instilled upon them from a time of birth about the importance of community and the dangers of letting that slide. As such, it is only natural that both quarians and ponies have adapted to be highly socialized creatures. And this is part of the reason why Equestria would have so many holidays and events. It's an excuse to cultivate this need for interaction. It's a day where they can be excused from their day-to-day -day lives and move into a singular place where they can do things they wouldn't normally get the chance to do with ponies that they may or may not normally get to see. And you could argue that even ponies like pre-episode 1 Twilight, who had no interest in making friends or being social, was at least polite with other ponies. She still stopped to talk to them, and on top of that, she still had Celestia and Spike. Even Fluttershy, who avoids contact with others of her kind, has a large network of animal friends that clearly care for her and provide her with a social gratification that she needs. But that's only one half of the equation. The other is, as I said, the development of their technology. Now, I could go into a whole spiel about how and why pony tech has evolved as it has, 
and I actually might just do that in a later video. But right now, let's focus on what we see. The ponies are technologically advanced, but in very specific directions. Mostly, they seem to have concentrated their scientific advancements in housing, medicine, transport, and entertainment. What you do not see is much in the way of connectivity. There are no phones, no computers, no internet. I don't even think they have so much as a telegraph machine. In short, outside of the mail service, a system that one could argue is essential for any large community to have in order to survive, Ponykind has made no attempts at simulated communication. This leads me to believe that they would see such services as a cheap imitation of actual conversation. And they're actually not wrong in thinking this. Scientific studies have shown that human beings do not get the same level of satisfaction from services like text messaging or chat rooms that they do from face-to-face -face conversations. In fact, in some conditions, they can actually leave a person feeling more isolated and more lonely than had they not talked at all. So, with a psychological need to openly interact with others, alongside the lack of technology to create a simulated connectivity to happen at any time in any place, the sheer number of social events Equestria sponsors does begin to make a lot of sense. To us, it might seem excessive, but to them, it's an essential part of life. But what do you think about Equestria's festivals? Are there too many, or do you want to see more? And which events would you personally like to take part in? Post your own thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to see what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and as always... Stay pony, my friends.